On November 3, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Israel for the second time in less than a month. Blinken's visit was seen as an attempt to broker a temporary ceasefire to allow for humanitarian aid to flow into the Gaza Strip. However, his efforts were rebuffed by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Blinken came to Israel carrying a message from President Joe Biden for a temporary ceasefire to address the humanitarian crisis and pave the way for the release of hostages. Despite warnings from allies that Israel risked destroying the last chance for peace if it did not act quickly to improve the humanitarian conditions in Gaza, Netanyahu continued to assert his hardline stance. International media, through the analysis of satellite images and images released by the Israeli military, believe that Israeli forces are trying to split the Gaza Strip, isolating Hamas in the densely populated northern neighborhoods. The Wall Street Journal assessed that by splitting Gaza and fighting in the north and south of the Gaza city, Israel has created a two-front war for Hamas. However, it also means that the Israeli military will have to fight in the difficult urban terrain in northern Gaza. Hamas fighters have used anti-tank missiles to target Israeli tanks and armored personnel carriers as Israeli ground forces advance into the suburbs of Gaza City. The Israeli military is believed to be focusing on finding entrances to the Hamas-used network of tunnels and trying to take out Hamas fighters. Israel has used robots and explosives to collapse tunnels and detonate landmines.